Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Copper Jacket TV. So I don't think we should call California, California anymore. I think we should call it Clown World because until actual rational adults take charge in that state, that's pretty much all it is. It's just a clown world. Now I'm not talking about you guys that are watching this video that actually believe in the constitution, separation of powers, and you know, our basic rights. I'm talking about the people that are in power in California right now, because you will not believe what they're saying that you should do to defend yourself. Don't get a firearm, all you need is this. Let's go ahead and talk about what they're suggesting now. Now, real quick, I just want to thank you all very much for watching. If you're not subscribed yet, consider hitting that subscribe button. We have Second Amendment content on a daily basis, news and reviews, and I've got a lot of great stuff coming up. If you are not seeing my videos all the time, hit that little bell notification and leave a comment. Let me know what's going on. With that being said, let's go ahead and get to the video. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about what's going on here. So as I'm sure most of you know, crime in certain California cities has grown exponentially to the point where it's just not safe to live there anymore. People can't even leave their house. They go to work, they come back, they stay in their home for the rest of their day. A lot of people are packing up and moving to other states or they're moving to the suburbs or they're moving further east in California, places where they feel a little bit more safe because California will limit the way that you can protect yourself. So in a lot of these big cities like San Francisco, Oakland, and Los Angeles, where you might feel the most at risk, that's where the strongest gun control is, stronger than any other gun control in the entire country. That's where you're going to find it. So people are pretty much disarmed. Now, while that might sound scary, there's really nothing to worry about because Oakland has a solution. Oakland is now advising their residents, and again, this is instead of carrying arms, right? They are advising their residents to carry and use air horns. Air horns. So instead of defending yourself with something that's actually effective, they would like you to get a can that has a horn on it so that you can alert other people that you are being assaulted. Hey, I have a guy here with a knife, or I have somebody here that looks to do me some type of bodily harm. I'm going to blow my horn to let other people know about it. Now, they're saying that you should do this so that other people who know about it can then call law enforcement or intervene in some way. But in reality, all you're doing is saying, Boop, over here, guess what's happening to me? That's pretty much it. And that is Oakland's solution to the crime problem. Now, while people like you and I might think that something like that is completely ridiculous, there's people who voted for the people that are in power there that actually think it's a pretty good idea. As a matter of fact, CNN gave an interview to somebody who said, you know what, as a matter of fact, I have three air horns stationed around my house, three air horns. So it doesn't matter where somebody tries to come in. I've got an air horn pretty much covering all of my entrances. And so that's the idea that they decided to run with. So again, while you and I see that that's pretty much just a, a non-starter to begin with, there are people out there that think, hey, this isn't actually half bad idea. Now, if it sounds like I'm being cynical or sarcastic, it's because I absolutely am. I am sick of the ridiculousness that comes from California politicians. These people, on one hand, they restrict your Second Amendment rights and they infringe on it on a daily basis till you're pretty much disarmed. And then the advice that they give you afterwards is to use a, a friggin' horn to defend yourself or to let other people know what's going on. I mean, in reality, what good is that going to do? And you're giving people a false sense of security on top of that. So people who follow your advice because they feel that you're the one who has the best advice because you're the one that's in charge. And so they go and they get themselves a bunch of air horns are living under this false sense of security that they have this horn and it's going to do something when in reality, it's not going to do anything. Now, the only thing that I heard from California politicians in, in Oakland is that they also say that you should put bars on your door, on your door and windows. Now, while that part sucks, at least that would probably keep intruders out or keep them from banging down your door. So putting bars and stuff up while obviously nobody wants that, that's a solution that could actually work. You know, that way when you open your door, there's still bars in front of you and nobody's going to come barging in as long as you keep that outer door locked. But with an air horn, give me a break. What are you going to do with an air horn? It better be a very heavy or very long air horn that you can use to defend yourself. Otherwise, it's just a can of noise that everybody is going to ignore. Now, there's a myriad of lawsuits right now in the state of California working to restore your Second Amendment rights. These are lawsuits that challenge pretty much every one of California's laws that restricts your ability to defend yourself. And hopefully, we'll see some wins in these lawsuits very soon. But in the meantime, people shouldn't live under that false sense of hope that a can of air is somehow going to help you out. Yeah, it might alert other people, 
but those other people really have no obligation to help you and it doesn't mean that they will. All you're doing is bringing attention to yourself, which in some ways is good under certain situations, but in most cases is just going to aggravate the opposite party, right? So again, I, I think that that is an absolutely terrible idea. Now, I just wanted to share that with you all real quick because honestly, when you read the headline, you're thinking to yourself, no way this is actually real. And then you go ahead and you read the articles about it and you watch the interviews and you're, it is real. It is real. That's what they're telling you to do to defend yourself. I mean, people who are criminals, by definition, don't follow the, the, the law. And so to me, they're the only ones in California that have an advantage. And so the playing field in California is not level. And until you level the playing field, it's just going to continue to get worse. People are going to continue with their mass exodus. So uh, again, I wanted to share that with you. And you know, you guys can read their article and watch the, uh, the videos for yourself. I'll go ahead and I'll link it down below. But again, it's, it's, it's something else. It's something else when California politicians start telling the good law-abiding people, hey, use an air horn. Whew, unbelievable. Thank you all very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please like, subscribe. You guys have a great day.